This is 152. We're looking at the first part of section 1.6. And we're going to focus on, on taking derivatives in 1.6 of e, uh, natural log, a to some power, um, those sorts of things. So a couple things to know. You already know that, that e, is, e to the x is its own derivative. So the integral of e to the x, then, is also itself, plus some constant. Um, similarly, if it's a general base a instead of a base e, it's um, a to the x divided by the natural log of a plus some constant. So there's those to know. And then basically, let's get a little practice. So as you'll see, we, we have the, uh, the integral of um, e to the negative x dx. So let's do, if you, you might see it right away. If not, let's do a little substitution. Let's let u equal negative x. So the derivative of that then is uh, negative 1 dx. So we have a dx. We want a negative dx. So let's substitute in a du for that dx. So this would be the integral of e to the u um, du whoops, times negative 1. And that's the same as negative integral of that. So that's itself. And let's do substitute that back in. We know u is negative x, so negative e to the negative x plus some constant. All right, let's take a peek at this next one. Um, I've got integral of x squared times e to the negative 2x squared dx. Remember all these substitutions, we want to look for what could we plug in to what function? e to some power. Let's take advantage of that. So let's let u equal this negative uh, 2x squared. Uh, let's actually make that cubed. Sorry, cheated. Um, there we go. So the derivative of that would be negative 6x squared dx. And I notice we have our x squared, but we're like negative 6 too big. So I'm going to multiply both sides of here by negative 1, 6. And now I have a nice straight substitution. Um, negative 1, 6 e to the u du. And I can pull that negative 1, 6 out because it's multiplying by that constant. Uh, anything that's, uh, you know, it's itself. And I'm going to substitute that u back in so I get that. And don't forget your plus that constant. A couple more. All right, uh, I'm going to think about what my substitute. Oh, I, there might be one hiding over here. There it is, hidden away. Let's do that one. Um, I have this 1 plus e to the x inside the square root, so I'm going to let my u be that. You know, sometimes you'll just try something, and maybe it works. Uh, maybe it doesn't, then you just try a different thing for your u. So the derivative of this, derivative of a constant, is 0. Derivative of that is itself. Nice. So there I have those pieces here and here. So this would be square root of u du, and use one half power. Uh, square root is one half power. So as I do that, that would be uh, two, three halves, and then I got to compensate with that, plus my constant. So now I can plug it back in. So I basically have two times what is u plus e to the x to the three halves. I could write that as the whole thing is over three, plus a constant. Ah, don't forget about that. If you write this as a plus third, uh, plus, yeah, just a two thirds out front times that, that's it. All right, now we'll get to this thing. All right, I got something squared here. So for my u substitution, I'm going to go with that something. Just thinking about what's inside what. The derivative of that then, uh, this is its own derivative. Uh, derivative of a constant is zero. So I've got that. So I've got the e to the x and the dx, but I've got this extra 3. So I'm going to take a third of it. I've got one third e squared. So that third can come out. Um, so I have one third times uh, the integral of u squared is one third u cubed. So that would be one ninth. And that u cubed, substitute that u back in. You can write it as one ninth times that thing cubed, or you can write it as that thing cubed over nine. They're the same, as you know. 
plus some constant. Beautiful. All right, taking a look at this one. I've got e to some power here. I don't have another e. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let u be x to the fourth. Derivative of that is 4x cubed dx. I have a 2x cubed here. So I'm going to cut this in half to make it match. So 2x cubed dx gets replaced with 1 half du. So I'm, I'm just going to pull that 1 half out right away. u to the u du. It's its own derivative. And I know that that u was uh, x to the fourth, so this should be 1 half e to the power of x to the fourth plus some constant. Man, flying through these. All right, derivative of 5 to the x equals dx. Notice there's no e here, so I'm going to go back up to this relationship. So this must be uh, itself divided by natural log of that base. Again, that just comes out of that straight relationship with. More to dig into here and then we'll be done. Oh, this is a definite integral, so we're going to have to evaluate it um, as well. So let's do our integral. So I'm going to let u equal 1 minus x. And so if that's the case, du would equal negative uh, dx. So negative du equals dx. Cool. So as I do the substitution, I've got e to the u, and it's negated du. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change those bounds right now. So if this was a 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. And since this is a 2, uh, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And that negative can come out. Now you can do it this way, or you can kind of be clever and go like, if I'm negating this thing, I'm changing the direction. So I could think of this from negative 1 to 0 of e to the u du. Great. And I'm not going to have to plug it back in because I changed these boundaries. So since this is its own um, integral, I've got that. So I've got e to the negative 1 minus e to the 0. Oh, sorry, I switched that. Uh, e to the 0 minus e to the negative 1. So this is 1 minus e to the negative 1. You can leave it like that, or if you want to evaluate that um, and give a decimal approximation, you can do that as well. All right, one more little substitution. So let's see. I've got e to the 2x. So I'm going to let u equal 2x. The derivative then would be 2dx. But I don't have a 2, I just have a dx, so I'm going to cut that in half to make it match. So I can just do my substitution straight. So I've got 1 half e to the u du. And uh, again, I'm going to do my substitution straight here. So uh, when this is 0, plug it into here. So this will run from 0, 2 times 0, to 2 times 4. And I just do that so I don't have to plug this back in later. I, th I think it's kind of classic. <laughs> so I've got 1 half e to the u running from 0 to 4. So I've basically got uh, 1 half e to the 4th minus 1 half e to the 0. e to the 0 is 1. Anything to the 0th power except 0 is 1. So I've got that. Oh, sorry, that's a 1 half. I can leave it that way, or I can get some decimal approximation for it. All right, that's the first part of 1.6. Lots of practice getting in on, on E and such. Uh, let me know what questions you have, and we will um, post them or message me with them.